yeah, but overall, I think that went really well. Okay, so, done. Now, they also have four more in the Hannah, I believe. But we are currently invading, and it looks like the manpower is going to go in its entirety this turn. I don't think I'll invade this turn, then. I'll just wait for the manpower to go, so, yeah, save my manpower in effect. Uh, we are quite low on it, arguably. But uh, if I take that, that should reduce all their influence. And, well, I can talk more about that when I actually I'm about to do it. So what I'm going to do now this turn is take a minute out to update this. Okay, build list is updated. I'm going to get out one of these new upholder ships as well since the... Uh, tool ships definitely don't work, perhaps I'll have more luck with them. And uh, yeah, that's how things are looking there, and that's how they are looking there. My production now is freaking excellent, and a lot of my worlds now are on the verge of being able to make ships, so should get up my second fleet. Yeah, it won't be too long now before that's up, and uh, I think I might use that to take these worlds, and yeah, let's take out those ratio as well, that'd be pretty good. Uh, so I've got those down there. I took that out of the Hannah just then. Let's uh, move that up to dock up. And uh, yeah, that can stay there. Let's blockade it as well. I could send out some probes. Let's do that. So one up there. One up there. That would be an idea. Can I do anything? Oh, yes, I can do more of that. I can do some expeditions. So let's do the hot. Well, I can do all of them. Okay, so on here, Proto Orchid. This is. I can't remember what that is. I'll have to find out in a second. This is Adamantium. Yeah, I. I guess hadn't found these yet then, and that's loot. Right, so I think that's it for the turn. Now, apart from having a look what Proto Walk it is, so it is money and lots of it, so I definitely that's going to be in contention for my pick there, certainly. Right, let's end the turn. Okay, I had to actually load a save then. I had a pending turn bug where the turn just wouldn't end. So I've basically loaded the last time I saved. And now, hopefully, I can end the turn and uh, things will work. I basically finished... Well, the last time I saved was just after that combat. So I've tried to do everything the same again since then. So it's like sending some probes out, sticking things in the build list and uh, doing those expeditions. I'm not sure if I did my build list exa exactly the same, but uh, I also moved some ships up from there as well. Right, let's end the turn, hopefully. I have better luck this time round. Right, phew. Uh, I was worried then uh, that that might have been the last turn. Uh, but no, looks like Pendenberg isn't happening this time round. Okay, so, uh, Kochab looks like decreasing there. I need more food on that system. How I'm going to do that, I don't know really. I'm going to have to get some more food tech. Uh, actually, well I want both of those on there because they're designed for hot oils. Yeah, I'm going to have to get some more food tech. Or better hero. Uh, right, this guy's up to level 2. So, uh, if you're wondering as well, that's his natural stats. That's crap, so I think he definitely was a bit of, well... Arguably a better fleet commander. So this one is damage on fleets, and the one behind it is 30%. I think these don't stack now, so it's just uh, one. Uh, what is that? Right, a system development. Actually, on this inner ring here, I'm going to have to take a system one. That's experience and vision range. I think i take the experience one. Actually, that's pretty good, you know, though. On fleet. It's very good, actually. Uh, yeah, we'll take that then. Okay. Right. 
Uh, research, I've no idea what I'm going for next. Probably food, isn't it? Uh, yeah, let's come in here then. Oh, we've just got food, in actual fact. Uh, the food specialization tech, at least. I'm uh, not sure how many food techs are left, actually. Not many. Yeah, I think uh, gene splicing is definitely bugged, so this is a problem. Uh, there's f per gas per moon. More food there. More food there. But I'm two techs away from unlocking that, so I can't get to it. Yeah, right, I'll have to come in. I'll figure that out later. Okay, let's do the automated movement for the turn. Walter Brown's population's got really freaking big now. So my fleet is starting to group up here, second fleet. But yeah, the key thing this turn is Gemini. So I think the ships are still in the Hanna. Now, if I try to attack this, I think they might come out. I'm uh, probably going to lose some more ships here if I do this. But it's worthwhile, more than likely. So we've got 1700 manpower, they've got zero. Yeah, let's go for this then. So, invade. Oh, okay. Maybe not then. Uh, so, no combat after all. Well, uh, fleet combat. Ground battle time. So, basically, we have to choose from one of three choices. Different choices when they're the defender though. So I'm going to go blitz. This gives us basically a couple of extra combat rounds, battle duration rounds, but I'll take more damage. It's possible they might get some sort of defense. It looks like they might have unlocked the armor as well. Let's watch it if indeed there is a combat. Well that's new. Didn't used to have that uh, animation in between. Okay. I don't know what happened then. It was just a, maybe they had some aerial attack or something. Right, and they've been wiped out pretty soon, pretty quickly. I think everyone has different types of tank animations as well. That's cool. Spoils of war. They lost the population, and we lost some of ours. But they went for local resistance. That gave them 200 manpower. Right, so that's how they had some. And we have now taken Germany, we're in possession of it, and look at their influence. Where's it gone? So, Grus is actually on the verge, arguably, of uh, engulfing Germany and maybe taking it back, so I need to take that soon. My fleet down here, though, I'm going to want to take those. And, yeah, the Sophons then, if I can take those three systems, they probably had it, I guess. If we look at the score down here... We're actually top still, but that might not have been updated correctly. That system's amazing and its influence is going to get even better, but not for a while. There's a minor race up here. Oh, they have... Have they assimilated it? It says they have. But yeah, they're not in control of it, so that's weird. Perhaps a bug there as well. Okay, but uh, yeah, that's a huge, huge development taking that. I'm going to take a minute out then to update the build list and get some ships out of Hannah's, move them in the right direction and figure out what tech I'm going after. Okay, so I've updated the construction queue this turn, as you can see, and that's how my current systems look. And I should probably show you Gemini, shouldn't I? Since I just took it, so you can see what's actually in here. Uh, so that's the buildings that the so far, it's a built a bunker there, and there's that which caused me, well, it was like nothing really. Didn't really hold me back from taking that at all. Extra 150 manpower defenses. I got that, which I'm not sure if I've got access to, but other than that, I think I've got everything that they've built there. I'm gonna get the happiness up next. I do actually now have enough so far in population to do some genetic. Splicing, should I wish? It would only give me one extra science per Horatio population, though. Uh, yeah, so it's really debatable whether or not it's worthwhile doing this. And I, because I think it's bugged as well, maybe. I'm not 100% sure on that. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to splice them. It's not worth the risk. 
Uh, what I'm, I might do it later. Basically, uh, there's a couple of food tanks in the last era, which uh, maybe I'll do it after I've gotten those, or maybe not. Uh, right, so with those in mind, I definitely want to get two more tanks in here. And I think the next tech I'm actually going to go for then is the Imper Imperator class, I should say, which is pretty friggin' amazing. It requires adamantium and antimatter though, and I don't actually have those techs for those resources yet, but I do have some in the bank, so to speak, so I'll pick that up now and then maybe try and pick up the resources in a bit. Uh, right, so that is research done and build list done. I probably have a couple bits of movement left. So I've got two fleets, and I think I've taken everything out of the Hannahs, so maybe not. Uh, there's uh, some in there, but they can stay there. Right, so my main fleet here, that's pretty, well, hopefully secure now. Uh, what I'm going to do then with this is bring it straight down here to try and take it, I think, rather than stay there. Okay. And hopefully... Right, I'm going to not waste my manpower. I'm going to stay there for a turn and uh, siege it down. I've got a couple of probes, and I'm actually going to use them on expeditions. So there's only one I can actually do here. And uh, we found... Ooh! A man... Amianthoid. Whatever the hell that is. Uh, that's one way to find out. Let's have a look. That is... Extra manpower. Hmm. Yeah. Probably not what I want. Probably want food, actually. It would seem. If I want to do more gene splicing. So hopefully I take that next turn, that really locks this area up, then that fleet which is building there can come and deal with those and uh, yeah, I'm going to take out that and so far I'm probably almost be dead then actually. Okay, and I'm more than likely going to have to come back down here and deal with this. This is probably going to flip over to them if they have the culture tech. And if we take a look in here, they are actually, well they know of us now. Uh, since, yeah, the border butts up against ours. It looks like I could even add the planets into a deal here. But, uh, yeah, they're not willing to do that, obviously. Uh, yeah, I don't have any of the diplomacy tech yet. And to be honest, I don't think I'm going to pick it up because they could culture flip me and I need to prevent that. Eventually, that's going to come up here. If I don't do something. I think that's all I need to do for this turn now. Uh, is that okay? Yeah. Uh, so there's another ship coming in next turn. A couple of turns. I should move this up actually. Well, I'm sad that. I can't tell. I think they're coming towards me. So I'll blockade there and then move up next turn. Right. And luckily, no Pendenberg. I thought for a second it was going to be. Okay, population. Going up on those worlds. That one reduced on Code Jab. Imminent victory. You are close to achieving victory. Supremacy. Really? Uh, supremacy. Bring all the major factions, home systems under your control. Right, well we took another one, so yeah, we're certainly making progress on it. Bring many star systems under your control, but it doesn't say how many for conquest. So, the Pictor isn't actually their capital, which I thought it was doesn't have a crown symbol on it. So this influence could actually be from the capital somewhere down here actually. Which is worrying. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to deal with that in a bit. Right, so we've got a new hero this time round. And I'm prob probably going to want to pick this guy. Who's a guardian. 
That's the best fleet commander here, 21 points. Scavenger. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that now then, actually. The other ones, Overseer. Seekers are quite good, actually. They have good movement between systems. I'm thinking of picking him because of that reason, actually. They'll probably come back. This guy might not, so yeah, I'm going to pick him. Okay. Wango Moto. Probe recovery rate on exploration ships, plus 10 on per planet system. Yeah, it's not probably that much at this stage of the game. So I need to never, well, I need to uh, build a third fleet for him at some point. Uh, right, uh, ship movement this turn. Impose a ship on Kochab. Did that finish? Not quite. Looks like I've got a bit of combat to do down here though against those miners. So that's probably a no contest I imagine. Uh, what? But we haven't seen much combat so I probably won't show it. What do I want here then? Uh, experience? I think I'll go for. So this is all different ranges in effect. I think you have to put one there though. So I'll have... Uh, put those there. Actually. And uh, I'll have impose a ship there. The rest can go there. Okay. Let's uh, watch. I guess I made the right decision about the experience though. Okay. Yeah. Right, I really like this new system of uh, moving the ships around, it adds a lot. Uh, the cards. The old system in Ender Space 1, the cards were during combat, but. Yeah, I quite like the fact that you do it before combat, actually. I think I'm okay with that. So that is done for the turn. Is that all? Oh, uh, there's actually one more fleet here. I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to bring this up in this direction. I need to fleet up here and start attacking those. I think that's the priority. These can wait. I might even be able to take out those Horatio on the way. Get that done. Okay. And uh, this is done, so I can actually invade this turn. So let's. Uh, that is right, yeah. Uh, let's invade then. Okay, same again. Let's, as last time. And it looks like the eyes had the sense to do the manpower option, which it didn't always used to do on the last update. I could arguably get away without doing blitz, just doing a normal one maybe, but this guarantees it done in one turn. Pretty much guarantees. Okay, population lost one and system. 
taken. Okay. So that's uh, influence worries in this area of the map and this area of the map taken care of. So what do I want to do with this now? Probably bring it over here quickly. I could grab that maybe. I gotta watch my approval at some stage though if I'm taking a ton of planets. If I want to go for the quickest victory condition, arguably, is uh, supremacy and just taking all the capitals. So I could try and find the other capital and just go f straight for that. Uh, with that in mind, then, I probably need to get some more scouts out and look over here. I mean, we know there's a capital there, it's just the Third Empire, the United Empire. I need to deal with them in fact. So let's. Yeah, I think next then I'm gonna go for this amazing system over here. Is that a movement? I could do with a couple of ships for this as well. Have I done all the expeditions? Yeah, I have. Okay, and it's got a tiny bit of movement. Right, that's got blue cap, which I definitely need more of. I could maybe use Transvine the approval that gives. I think this is a fantastic place for a headquarters so I'm gonna put my new trade here at some point. Uh, question is, well it's gonna take four turns here, I'm gonna start on that immediately. That's what they happen to have here. So they've already built a settlement, I'm not sure what the one gave them. So level two. Uh, definitely needs more food here. Okay I'm even making a bit of money now. Right, I think that is it for the turn now. Let's end the turn. I don't have a fleet to stick him on, so he can... He's just going to have to wait. It won't be too long. There's a ship there, but looks at him. Oh, it's probably a hand, uh, freighter. Okay. There. She's leveled up. Uh, let's get the approval. Maybe I should think again about moving her. Not sure. And him. Uh, right, so we're now on this third ring. So that is fleet. So that's no good to me. That is as well. That's deposit value on luxury resources. Plus four. That's freaking massive. Food. Oh wow. Okay. That's huge as well. Uh, he's on coach chat at the moment, which really needs food. I think I'm going to have to uh, pick that first then. Resource Transvine approval that gives. Sort of mentioned a thing. Uh, let's. Should I do the automated move then? Yep. Okay, my fleet's up there. That looks like it's moving away, I think. So it must have went there and then went out. Let's come into Aldebaran. Let's get... Right, that's a scout ship, which I definitely want to bring out in a second, but not necessarily as part of the fleet. Let's group... I can't group those up, actually. I need to take one out. So let's take... Uh, that ship out. Right, so I've got two... Two weapons. One upholder, three... Imp Poses. Sounds pretty good to me. Uh, let's get these over here then to conquer them and destroy them. That fleet uh, can stick the new hero on it. Which. Right, gotta figure out where it was then. Confirm that there. So. 
I'm going to want to upgrade his ship as well. I might as well do it now. Okay, I think I'll stick to what I've been doing. So, torpedoes. Engine. Best sensor there. And defense is the plate in shield, I should say. There on the doubler. On symmetrical and plate in there. Right. Okay. okay. And uh, what else have we got to do? Uh, that can. Tempted to block here, but I probably shouldn't do because I've got enough ships in it. Right, we've reached there with uh, this fleet. There's actually expeditions to do here, so you know what I'm going to. Looks like something's invading there. Adamantium. Do with antimatter. Amianthoid. And antimatter. Okay. Right. So that's done. Let's get these up to here. In a bit. I'm actually out of move hunter. I've got one probe left, but I won't use it. Uh, the. I think. Yeah, let's take that out. And bring that over to here. Okay. <laughs> wow. I can see the huge reveal. And one last ship. Yeah, that's staying there. Now I think this stuff in Hannah's. Right, so what I'm going to do is update my build list and take the stuff out of Hannah's and get it moving up here. Okay, so my construction queue has been updated. That's how it looks, and that's my systems. Something I hadn't realized until just then this turn is I have lost a system. Izar went over to the, uh, what you might call it, the Lumeris. So that's a big issue, and that's one of the reasons why I'm switching these over to influence specializations. Hopefully, it can hold that a tiny bit longer but I need to get a fleet built and sent over in this direction quickly before yeah Mora uh, basically flipped over. What I've also done this turn I grouped yeah took ships at Hannah's and moved them up here so I've got a small fleet actually uh, beginning to develop there. Did I move my hero around? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, I probably did. He's up there, isn't he? Or is he? Yeah, he is. Uh, should I bring that one back? Yeah, I'll bring that one down there then, since it seems to be a fleet grouping up here. And... Right, so I think I've done all of the movement this turn, other than that. Uh, I can't remember if there's anything else. So, yeah, next turn. <laughs> 